Hello and welcome to Lego Mindstorm's EV3 tutorials. I'm getting pretty good at this whole video making thing, so yeah, if I sound confident, it's because of that. Um, today it's not really a tutorial, more a code combination. If you checked on the trailer, it said I would do that, so here am I doing that. Um, fulfilling my prompts. <laughs> so today we're gonna make our demo robot dance. Okay? Make sure your um, motors are connected to ports B and C and they're crisscross, just like the instructions said in the standard um, kit if you have that kit, which you should have. Um, don't mind me, I might go off rambling. So, first off, we'll start. Um, this will, the robot dance will just be a series of random movements that you can edit and all that. But it will be controlled with the infrared remote included in the standard kit. Or the starter kit, whichever one. Um, make sure you have uh, two AAA batteries in the remote. And if you press any one of the buttons, the, a little LED, I think it's like green or something, should um, light up in a little, like, the black front of the remote. So, just give that a go, and if it's not working, then it's probably your batteries. Um, so, once you have all that ready, I want you to create a loop. Where did that go? That one just... So, and then create a timer, go to infrared sensor, compare, remote. Now, this will have to be on channel 1, and you can, ch like, you, in order to change the buttons, you unselect the one that's selected, like that, and let's say I wanted this one, and that. So, um, I'm gonna put it up there. So, what this is right now, if you haven't checked out my tutorials, then you probably don't have, you have no idea what's going on if you're a beginner. If you already, um, have program with EV3 and you're experienced, then this is going to be very, very simple. I can guarantee that. So, here we have a loop, and here we have the timer function. This loop will, like, Wait until this timer is ready. The timer valuables are that on channel 1, the very first button, that one right there, goes off. As soon as that goes off, then whatever is after it, which is nothing so far, will happen. So, let's have it so that that medium motor, you know what, no, screw the medium motor. Let's go to move tank. Move tank. It'll go forward. Or five seconds. Or five rotations, whoops. Then it will stop because that's break. Then it will go a turn to the right, which is a clockwise turn at 100 speed. And I'm gonna make it do, hmm, I'm gonna do a near 360. So, right now I'm just going to pause it, and I'm just going to complete the code, and um, you can kind of do your own thing, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you don't know what any of these bottom things are, or what these are, um, check back my first two tutorials, that the, in, in the introduction, but like parts two and three, that'll teach you everything. So, I'm just going to pause it. Okay, so I'm back, and um, as you can see, I have added some things. Um, just uh, to review it, um, this waits until this button's pressed. It'll go forward for five rotations. It'll do a turn that way, um, like right at 100 speed for 6.1 rotations. And I'll turn that way, whatever that way is. At 10 speed for 9 rotations. Then we'll go at 75 speed for 9 rotations forward. And then we'll do dog bark. And then it'll wait until this is initiated. Or press that button. So. 
that's the very first part of it. Now, if you just want to have your button, like, have your, uh, sorry, robot, um, dance when, uh, the button on the remote, con on the infrared remote control is pressed, the, this is done. It's done, you can go and upload it and stuff, and it'll do that. If it doesn't, make sure your connections are okay, and if you need any problems, just go in the discussion and, uh, ask me. Uh, I check that daily. I'll probably check that around, like, by the next day, you'll have a reply, definitely. So, that's that part. If you want to have it so that the remote, if you click a different button, it'll stop the whole robot dance where it is, and the robot will just freeze. And then if you hit the button that's specif specified here, it'll continue dancing. If you want to have it that way, then uh, I would continue on. So I'm just going to drag that out. Give us some more space. Connect that there. I'm OCD, so I'm gonna have that line straight. It doesn't really matter if it's straight. I am OCD. See, that's kind of not straight. It's gonna bug me. But um, so you drag a loop function right there. Do the timer just like before. Go to infrared compare remote. And you have to go to. Um, I'm gonna have this button, this top button right up here. No, no, actually no. Um, I'm gonna have this button, the bottom, bottom left button on channel one. No, I'm gonna have to connect that. That's connected. And there. And then just hit off. And there, done. So. This code right here will make your robot um, dance if it's uh, if uh, the top left button is pressed and stop if the uh, bottom left button is pressed. So, um, again, post on the discussion if you have any um, problems or anything. Please subscribe and like, and thank you.